Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Right now in FIBA 22, it is all about these team of the season packs. We can do eight TOTS packs per day. It's absolutely crazy, this content they have been re releasing over the past couple of days, and it's impacting the market and impacting this game a lot. Now, a lot of you may have heard about the glitched e-figs packs that was part of our content yesterday that was a bit of a surprise but a very happy surprise that ea released the e-figs tots upgrade pack you can do it three different times every single day and they glitched it because it was giving out like only premier league players like 99 percent of the players coming from the sbc were premier league the pack weight was so very high on a few specific number of players so i want to take a look at that and how ea has to give us free packs back because of that, they've not done it yet, but the SBC has been re-released, so we'll talk about that situation. And of course, how these upgrade packs, right? Eight TOTS packs per day. That's gonna impact the fodder market a lot. Fodder is continuing to go up, and I think it's just gonna keep going because we're gonna have more of those TOTS packs today on Wednesday, but there's a lot more to talk about regarding Wednesday today. We could have another end of an era SBC dropping a big name, Lacazette. I'll take a look at that prediction at leak. And as well, look at the next promo that we might have because it could be as soon as this Friday because of a leak tweet that we saw yesterday as well. We might be heading into shapeshifters. I'll talk about that just briefly at in this video as well. I'm going to start off the video with a little tots pack, right? Because this is the content right now. This content is incredible in FIFA at the moment. I don't really expect anything from this pack. These packs are so cheap, so easy to grind, so easy to craft, and I cannot even lie. I put Slaughter back into this very SBC that I just did, and I got him back. Wow, that is karma right there. Or dupe theory, rotation, whatever you want to call it. That's crazy. That makes me want to do another one. I will turn him in tomorrow in another TOTS pack. Anyways, uh, it's fun to do those packs because they are very easy to do, coupled with upgrade packs. The menu grind right now is just incredible. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, hit the thumbs up on this one. And of course, subscribe if you're new. We have to talk about this eFix Tots SBC and explain the situation. I know some of you guys may have been affected by this. Some of you might be like, Nate, what is going on? They dropped the eFix Tots upgrade yesterday, repeatable three times every 24 hours. But the problem was they were giving out Premier League cards like crazy. I opened three of mine. I got Van Dyke. Um, I got, I think I packed Declan Rice and then Muni Ayin. I was, I somehow got a non Premier League card, but so many other people were packing only Premier League cards from this SBC when it dropped. So many Van Dykes, Cancelos, Bernardo Silva, Ruben Diaz, Bruno Fernandes, Declan Rice, Trent Alexander Arnold. It was like crazy weird and crazy glitched how many. Only like people were getting Prem Todd's cards. Everybody was tweeting about it in the first 15, 20 minutes after this SBC dropped. And we were like, okay, this is a weird situation. So it was about an hour after content dropped, EA tweeted this. The eFigs Tots upgrade pack has been removed while we investigate reports of issues with its pack. Players who already completed the SBC will receive corrected rewards in the future. And if you had partially completed it, uh, you will be able to finish it once it is back in game with the corrected rewards. So a lot of us that were on the game right away yesterday were able to, I guess, take advantage of this glitch. And we were able to go out and get this SBC done either once, twice, maybe even the full three times that you were allowed to do it. And right now what we're doing it doing is we're waiting for the compensation packs. They have re-released the SBC, right? They tweeted, I think it took them like an hour and a half or something like that. No, no, sorry. It took them six hours uh, to fix this SBC because they tweeted out a couple hours ago saying the eFix Tots SBC is now back in game with the corrected reward. Thank you for your patience. But they have not actually compensated yet. Remember, the last line of that tweet we just looked at was players who already completed the SBC will receive corrected rewards in the future. So if you did this SBC before, it was taken away. If you did it once, twice, or three times, you are going to get a pack back for each of the ones that you completed uh, for free, right? That's the, the compensation or the free packs that everybody is talking about. So I guess it was you know beneficial if you did these SBCs right away yesterday on the game uh, because they're going to have to give us free packs back. Now, we have no idea when they're going to gift us these back, right? Again, they always say this in these tweets. 
uh, they say the near future or like stay tuned for updates to know when we're going to get these packs. But, you know, in the near future, you wouldn't think that it would take that long, hopefully, but it might take a couple of days. I wouldn't expect to see these packs given out super fast unless EA are just like on top of it. It, it would, that would be crazy. But that was the whole situation yesterday with the eFigs Tots pack. It was honestly kind of crazy. It also, it reminded us back to FIFA 20, I think it was with the Tots Ultimate Tots guaranteed Sancho glitched pack where like all those SBCs were giving out Sancho's Tots cards. So EA had to take that off the market. And funnily enough, that was exactly two years ago to the day yesterday, I believe when that glitch happened. Pretty crazy uh, that that happened like the exact same thing two years in a row kind of wild so that was the whole efix tots upgrade situation there again today we're going to be able to do the sbc which i believe is an 85 rated squad and a tots player three more times it's wild the content right now in this game is crazy we had the second to last swap token released yesterday we have one more tot swap two token to be released then they're all done we also had the economy bowl team of the group stage upgrade which is really cheap 84 rated squad and then a Kaka Moments SBC that is overpriced compared to what his card is on the market at 700,000 coins. So that was kind of a, you know, yesterday's content was not nothing, anything, anything crazy except for the eFix Tots upgrade. And again, like I mentioned, the market, that's the part of the market that's moving the most is absolutely the fodder. And as we head further on to this week, this stuff is just gonna keep going higher because not only are we getting player SPCs, maybe today, another one, but we're getting eight TOTS packs per day. That's eight 84 or 85 rated squads people would be doing every single day. Now, of course, I know not everybody is doing these. If you don't have the coins or you don't have the fodder or you don't wanna you know, spend that many coins on these, that's completely fine. If I had to pick either of these SPCs to do, I would do the eFix Tots upgrade because it's only well plus one rating on the squad from an 84 to an 85. And it seemed like the pack pulls that we were getting from this, even though they were kind of glitched yesterday for a while, were definitely better than the regular Tots upgrade pack that they released on Monday. So I would 100% recommend this. If you're like, Nate, I don't have that much fodder. What should I do? I would do this one. I would do this one because it's going to give you a higher chance at a way better Tots card. Now, speaking of fodder, yes, it's going to keep going higher. 83s are at 2K. 84s are at 3.6, 3.7. I think 84s could be 5K. I'm going to raise my valuation. I said 4K earlier on in the week. I'm going to say 5K because we still have two days left of all this Tots pack madness. And, uh, you know, EA is trying to do a couple of things right now to stop this from stop these cards from rising up that much. Of course, we have upgrade packs like Galore that are on the market right now. But EA is also doing something that we haven't seen before this last week weekend. They're releasing untradeable packs in the store. I think this is one of two things here. Number one, they're trying to stop the rise on SBC fodder by putting packs in the store. They say, okay, a 125k pack, if you make all the tra pl uh, players untradeable, we'll give it to you for 90k. And they'll knock, I think it's like, usually a 125k pack, yeah, it's, it's 2,500 FIFA points. This one's only 1,800. So, they're making it kind of good value, even though it's untradeable. Biggest scam of a pack of like I've ever seen. I can't lie. What's the probabilities here? 8% of a TOTS player from an untradeable 100K and 8.1% from a tradable 125K. So these are basically the same pack, just one's untradeable. Interesting. But I think the first reason they're doing this, like I said, is to try to supply fodder into people's clubs so they don't have to go out and buy as much on the market and then it doesn't rise as much. I think the second reason they're doing this is this is something we see EA do. This is something brand new, right? I think they're testing this. And I also think they're testing something else right now in this, in this game content wise. I think they're testing the upgrade pack repeatable more than two because we have a tots upgrade repeatable five times and an efix tots repeatable three times and we have like never seen that basically never and both of these being out right now i think this is you know it's late game right we've seen this in the past couple of years as well they start testing new things that they want to roll forward into the next year's game and instead of just having it repeatable once repeatable twice we have repeatable five times and three times right i think this is just something that ea is going out and testing but hey it makes for a lot of fun for us that's great and then again those packs in the store that's the first time we've ever had a tradable packs in the store which still to me is a scam but 
uh, I think they're just they're just testing that as well. So that's just kind of what I think they're doing with all that stuff going on right now in the game. It would just make sense if that's their reasoning uh, behind it, of course. Now, let's speak a little bit more about today's content on Wednesday, right? Today on Wednesday, we should see legit lightning rounds. The last couple of weeks, last few weeks during Team of the Season, Wednesdays and Thursdays have brought back your regular lightning rounds. Now, these are not actual lightning rounds here. These are just promo packs that are in the store that are untradeable. We should have LRs today. So if you like spending FIBA points or you want to hit some LRs, uh, whatever, those should be in, in uh, the store today. That might impact some of your TOTS cards from Ultimate TOTS a little bit. I think it would actually more so impact guys like your Julian Alvarez. If you think about in the past couple of weeks where you know we've had secondary league TOTS cards dropped on, the, on a Saturday or a Sunday and they're stupid rare, usually towards that Wednesday, Thursday time frame is when they start to drop off. I think Julian Alvarez is going to drop off a decent amount of price today. I'd be very careful with this card. I still think he's about double what he should be in price. Maybe he should be about 750k, but he's, he's really, really expensive right now because he's rare. He's got the hype because he's brand new. So lightning rounds, one of the first things to expect today. Of course, you're going to be able to do those TOTS upgrade packs again. And this is the SBC that people are kind of looking at as our next big end of an air SBC. This was leaked by Foot Sheriff yesterday. He said, Lacazette, these are predicted stats. These are not confirmed. These are predicted stats. Let me stress that. Lacazette is our next leaked end of an era player SBC. Now, I don't know if this is going to be today. We did not have a player SBC yesterday besides Kaka. I don't know if this is today. I don't know if this is tomorrow, but this is a pretty big leak. You saw his captain's card, Lacazette foot captains, which I, there it is, 225,000 coins. He dropped off a lot yesterday and was panic sold after this leak came out. He went from 280 down to 200, bounced back up off of the panic selling and is now still right around 230,000 coins. He's probably going to continue to get panic sold into today. And of course, since this is such a big card, Lacazette, with the links to him, a lot of people would be very hyped to try out. This Martinelli and other some of your other Arsenal cards, but specifically this card, had a really big jump up in price. He went from like 315,000 coins up to 360. The SBC didn't drop yesterday. Now he's back down to 330. This card could be very, very good because his captain's card was pretty good. Four star, four star, high, high, unique body type, five foot nine, technical dribbler. And if they give him a five star skills, Maybe even a five-star weak foot. I think that a end of an era lock is that would be pretty cool. It's a French striker in the Premier League, so the links there already are very hype. And I think that it's that, that leak right there is part of the reason why you've seen a card like Mr. Ben Yetter drop down about 60k. He was still 1.2 million coins yesterday to start off the day, and right now he is down to 1.13. I think Lacazette's probably going to come today, uh, if I'm being completely honest. And I think that, you know, if you compare Lacazette, like this card here, with Ben Yetter, if you give Lacazette either a 5-star weak foot or 5-star skills, they're going to be somewhat comparable in terms of price. Um, and I think that uh, if, especially this SBC is probably going to be around, I don't know, 300 to 500K. I know it's kind of a bigger range, but you know, it depends on what kind of boost they give him, how great they make the card and Prem tax, English tax, or sorry, um, English league tax, France tax. You know, I, I think that they could overprice this SBC and get away with it because of the crafting that is available right now with the upgrade packs. And just because it's Lacazette, Arsenal, pretty big name card a lot of people would want to try him out. So we'll see how much this comes out for when it does drop, but that's our latest leaked SBC for Lacazette. And like I mentioned, some of these ultimate TOTS cards, you know, we could take a look at some of these on the market because uh, some of you guys were like, Nate, I was looking to buy these guys for my team. And now we've had all these crazy, these content, this SBC has been released and, and they just keep going down, right? Marquinhos was like 400 and 430,000 coins. And now he's like 385, 390. This is what I'm pretty sure I just saw. Yeah, 398, 395. He's down like 30 or 40,000 coins. And that's how it is for like most of these cards on the market. Uh, Teo Hernandez is down really bad. He was like 680, 690. Now he's down to 620. The reason why this card is dropping right now is because there was a leaker on Twitter that posted a Marcelo end of an era leak like a legit leak now it was foot uh it was foot zone if you guys know who that is now marcelo is still down in price he went to like one mil yesterday was panic sold 
And okay, now he's getting really rare again, as this card normally does. He's back up to 1.2 mil, but there's still a lot of hype around Marcelo. I have not seen a legit leak for it yet. It still could happen. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not counting on it. I'm not expecting it, but there's still a slight potential um, for that card. And that that leak is literally why your Teo Hernandez has dropped down in price. But also, I think a lot of your TOTS cards continue to drop because everybody wants to go out and do these TOTS packs. I mean, take a look at Nkunku. And this is the lowest that Nkunku has been. Uh, he was this low on Saturday, 565K. 564 is where Nkunku is right now. Kulabali is 91,000 coins. Chowmeni is 325. Rafael Leao has hit an all-time low of 1 point, which is crazy to think that he's 1.2 mil. Like, what? With Insigne and everything else. This is under 1.2 mil for Rafael Leao. Are you kidding me? 1.185. That's crazy how low that he is. Mbappe is low. Modric is low. Basically, the entire Ultimate Tots team is low because people aren't wanting to buy these cards for their teams. And instead, they're going out and they're doing crazy SBCs. So, you know, I don't expect these cards to really rise a ton, um, especially now with uh, looking like we're going to get another promo coming this Friday. But of course, with all the crazy SBC content that we're getting, people need to sell some coins to go get some fodder. So maybe some of your cards stop uh, dropping on like Thursday and they rise up a little bit depending on what's this next promo is and if we learn about the leaks and stuff like that. But uh, it's just the content's so good that we it was not expected, right? Going off of last year, Ultimate Tots was a dud. It was an L. Kind of expected that a little bit this year, but EA's knocking it off the charts and releasing a lot of crazy content that people want to get involved in. Uh, and I, the opposite is, is happening of kind of what we expected. So speaking about that promo this weekend, this is the tweet that I'm referring to. Foot Sheriff himself said that the next promo should be shape shifters as I already have some SBCs and objectives. If he has SBCs and objectives as of right now on like a Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, he's probably going to start leaking those, I would assume, today on Wednesday. And that is going to begin the hype for the next promo. You know, I'll just talk really quickly about shapeshifters. If you guys remember, we're going to go way back in time uh, to, let's go FIFA 20. I'm going to have to do a little uh, finesse in here with the URL. Foot 20 squads. Can I go to shapeshifters really fast here? You guys will remember this, this promo team. It was a great promo. They were all about position changes and, um, you know, skill move and weak foot upgrades. And at this, at this stage of the game, that's the kind of promo that we need to keep things relevant and to keep things hype. With all the insane cards that we have at the, in the game right now, basically what I think shapeshifters would be this year would be a second week or two of a team of the season for guys that didn't get TOTS cards. Uh, and they would just throw position changes on them and give them insane cards to give them a lot of hype. This this was one guy that I think is probably going to get in this promo. Hasn't had a special in a hot minute. You give like a a center attacking mid uh, Raheem the Dream or a striker Raheem the Dream Sterling. You give him five star weak foot, four star skills, or maybe five four, uh, you know something like that. And and that would be a card that a lot of people would be interested in trying out. That sort of thing would be what Shapeshifters is about. So we'll wait until we get some more information about leaks and all that stuff. Uh, but I would expect expect to see some more news. I really think it's going to be this Friday. It, it might not be, but I really think that it would end up being this Friday just based off the fact that Sheriff says he has leaks already. And, uh, you know, it's it's pretty early in the week for like leak time frame stuff. So also we had the Kaka SBC yesterday. Uh, you know, his card was painting sold a bunch. The SBC is not that great value unless you're going to craft it with upgrade packs, um, which you do see the number up to 142 on your screen. I packed another Mike Mike Don. So nothing crazy there. My best pulls have just come from these TOTS SBCs. If I'm being completely honest, uh, that's where the fun is this week on the game. So also hopefully today on Wednesday, we see our last token if you guys were not aware we are on we have one tot swap token to go and then it's over you see here we are on token 25 that's the only one we are missing 24 was available via the sbc yesterday so if you're trying to get your last few tokens in and get your grind finished for you know a one of five player pick or whatever it may be for myself it's the 84 times 25 i'm getting close but i'm not quite there yet i need those last two guys to drop and then, of course, we'll be able to get that done and dusted. So watch out for that. Hopefully, 
coming today. That'd be nice either today or tomorrow, of course, but today would be very nice to give us that extra time to get things done. So continue to watch the market today. If you still have fodder, uh, like I think I have some random cards on my transfer list that I should probably list out that I you know, bought or packed, you know, like 83 is 1200 coins. I bought this for probably going to be able to sell him for like 3k before the end of the week. Goosen's probably going to be able to sell him for like three and a half K fodder is just, just going to be the name of the game. That's going to be the part of the market that continues rising the most as we head into the later parts of this week. So I want to know down in the comments, did you guys get to open the e-fix pack before it was pulled away and glitched and then fixed? Were you guys able to do that? Do you have compensation coming for you? That's what I want to know. Let me know down in the comments. But if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, if you enjoyed today, today's video, hit the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully it's another great day and hopefully we get compensation soon. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.